Hi everyone, welcome. This is the second video on regression analysis. If you haven't watched the first one, I would recommend watching the first one first and then continue with this second video, please. So what we need to do right now is we need to find out what the error that we are making is. So our error is going to be error is between the actual amount minus the estimated sales and we also want to find out what the squared error is and the squared error is going to be this number squared so we could just find these numbers so we have found a squared error and our squared error is going to be sum of the squared errors and that sum of the squared error is going to be equal to sum of the squared errors as it suggests right okay so it's 147.19 so what was the error that we have in the first part if we use the uh, the average as our estimation without using any other variable to understand what sales is going to be the sum of the squared errors to be 1032 but in this case we have an error size of 147.19 but what I realized is I kind of realized that the uh, the sales amounts that I use in the first example are not the same sales values in the second example slightly different so at this point what we have to do is we have to adjust we have to use the correct sales values and do we see the budgets values to be the same hopefully they are so I'm going to take this uh, the budget amounts are they're going to stay the same what we want to do is we want to highlight this sales amounts control C or let's just do this do the other way around so let's highlight these sales amounts in here and then uh, just paste them to the earlier example just so we could have the, the squared error in that case okay so just I copy the sales amounts here and I'm gonna paste them on top of these numbers okay so in this case the sum of the squared errors are not 1000 anymore it's about 301 and it's already calculated again for us if I use the average my error size is 301 but if I use the advertising budget to estimate my sales then my error is decreased to 147.19 how much decrease did we see there so the decrease in the error is equal to this was the error that we had before minus this is the error that we have right now and this is the decrease in the error and if I find this decrease in terms of our, of our ratio so how much was the total and how much is the decrease then that ratio has a specific name let me just first enter that ratio so the decrease in the error divided by the total error that we had before that is about 51 percent so let's just make this a percentage and maybe two decimals this is called the R square the R squared value is the amount of error that we could explain using an independent variable or a number of independent variables to predict the value of a dependent variable. So in this case, we have a, we uh, we were able to decrease about fifty one percent of the error. So we explained more of the variation in sales why they vary they vary because of 
advertisement budget. But the advertisement budget only explained about 51% of the variation. We still have 147.19. That is, we still couldn't explain. But hold on. Is this a good location for this line? It looks like this is somewhat um, maybe underestimating the sales. Maybe the slope or the intercept is going to be a little larger. So maybe the intercept is going to be 17 and the slope is going to be 0.75. Now this is a little over, so 16 looks fine. Now the R square ends up to be 75.22 percent, which is a which is a good number. So at this point, I would recommend you uh, doing this: pause your video and try to find an intercept and slope that makes this R squared little larger. And try a couple of numbers, and then come back to the video again. So the best way of finding the these two numbers that make the R squared largest or that make this uh, squared error the smallest is uh, using a tool that's called a solver and then there's an easier way as well but that's just kind of explaining you the background information the solver is going to be under the data tab in Excel but if it is not there I would recommend activating it using the alt T and I uh, keys on your keyboard do not just you know just press them all together one by one alt T I sequentially will activate alt T and I will activate the solver I would recommend just checking the box for the solver and analysis tool pack as well and if you're using a Mac you may have to search on Google how to activate them so just click OK then the solver is going to be there click on the solver what we try to do is we try to make this R squared the largest okay maximize it by changing H1 and H2 there are no constraints on the intercept and the slope they could be negative or positive so we should not check any box here and this is a nonlinear function because we took the square of the the values etc so we click on solve and we are able to see that the intercept is 16.08 the slope is 0 0.73888 and the R squared value is 75.39 I was able to get to a very close number and I didn't know the value but you could just fine-tune the numbers but you cannot find a better set of two numbers that are going to decrease this uh, some some of the squared errors or increase the R square as long as the line is a linear line okay so we are able to now explain 75.39 percent of the variation how because we were able to decrease the error from where? From 301 to uh, 74.22. Now, if someone comes to you and tell, asks you, what do you think about the sales amount of these franchisees? And you could say, you need to tell me more information. What? So uh, if you do not give, provide me any information, then I would only give you the average sales amount. But if you tell me how much money you are going to spend on advertisement, then I could give you a better estimation of your sales. And better estimation decreases my error size from 300 to 74. So this is the second video of the regression analysis and we are going to continue with the third video. Thanks for watching.